In this video, we're going to cover the operation of some of the various doors on the Aztec. They differ a little bit from the Navajo and 310. When you come up to the Aztec, uh, you just want to open the door. If it's locked, unlock it, of course. And if it's not locked, you can just press the button on the aft part of the handle to extend the main handle and then pull to open the door. There is also a deadbolt. Um, we should make sure that's forward and not engaged before we try to open the door. That deadbolt works from both the outside and the inside. It's a one-piece mechanism, so it's operated by this lever up here. And you can see that as I'm pulling back on the outside uh, mechanism, it just moves that lever as well and activates the deadbolt. So once the door is open and we get in the aircraft, we need to shut it. This is the position it should be in with the lock mechanism up, the handle aft and probably just above center, and the deadbolt mechanism fully forward. Now you can briskly shut the door. And then as you, as you move the handle forward and up, the lock mechanism uh, will go down. Lastly, of course, we pull back on the deadbolt latch, and now this is the flight condition. There's also a light on the dash that will go out if there's power to the airplane. In this case, there's not. Now, to get out, you put the latch forward, you lift the lock mechanism up. It's a two-hand operation, and pull the lever aft. Don't try to open the door until you're in this position. Now, you can just push down on the lever, and the door pops open. So on the Aztec, the aft baggage door. Most of our Aztecs, this door seal has been replaced, meaning that it's a tight fit for the door because they are watertight. To close the door, simply press on the door and it will latch. If you wanna lock it, you can lock it with a key. To open the door, you press the button and it's a hard press because that door seal is new and the door is open. The nose compartment door. Simply turn the key to pop the latch. It'll come out just about a quarter of an inch. Then you can open the latch and pull up on the door. As it comes up, you'll notice that strut on the side. Just push it into place. There's a little catch there, and then you can let go. Now, do not leave this in this position unattended. The hinges are delicate, and so is that strut. And taxiing aircraft can um, can damage it. To put the door back down, lift up gently, move the strut back out, and let the door down. Do not pull it down, ever. Um, push the latch in with your thumb. Uh, make sure the key does not come out when the latch is unlatched. That's a, that's a pre-flight requirement. Uh, to lock it, push the latch in with your thumb, turn the key, lock it, and make sure the door is secure. Aztec seat belt operation. Seat belts, like most seat belts, click in until you hear the click. To release, release the seat belt. To adjust, pull on the seat belt, adjust the other way, push the other way on the seat belt. You need to use your shoulder harnesses, and the shoulder harness, after your seat belt is adjusted, clips onto the seat belt. Then you can unclip the shoulder harness, get out of your seat belt. Questions? The Piper Aztec, besides having the main exit door to the right, also has an emergency exit window behind the pilot's seat. You remove the plastic cover, turn the little handle, and push the door out. It exits over the left hand wing. You can also get out the cargo door. That's not preferable because it's behind this cargo net. However, it is an alternate 
emergency exit. The Piper Aztec has a handheld Halon fire extinguisher on the floor underneath the co-pilot's feet. For pre-flight, remove the fire extinguisher and ensure the gauge is in the operating range. Ensure the fire extinguisher has been inspected and replace the fire extinguisher and reinstall the latches.